In the part 3 series of Go Animate, we would look at props and text. Props are different objects that you can place on the stage. Props are located on the top left corner of the scene. Next to props, you have text. There are two types of props, others and handheld. Let's select others and click on flying UFO. It would appear on the stage and you can move your prop around. You can also add different inter-exit effects. Let's select the object and add an inter-motion. There are three types of motion, inter, exit and movement. Let's add inter motion. There are different styles. You can scroll through the styles and look at the preview next to it. Let's select hand slide. You can also give different directions for your styles. There are other prop settings that you can also use. Let's preview scene 2 with the prop. As you can see the prop was applied to the scene. Back to editing. Now we would look at handheld props. These props could be placed on the character. If the characters are present in different scenes, you can add the props to all the scenes. If you want to delete your prop, select the character and delete it here. We'll select another prop. And place it on the student character. And we will add it to all the scenes. So you have the prop in scene 1 and scene 2. Let's delete the handheld prop. Now we would look at the text options. You have different text bubbles here. Let's apply a text bubble and resize. You can also move it around. If you double click you can write the text inside the text bubble. The text would adjust according to the text bubble. You can apply different fonts, different font size. You can apply styles to your fonts. You can select different colors for your fonts and different background for your text. You have other options as inter and exit motions that you can apply to your text box. You also have an advanced tab where you can add link to your text box. Let's preview scene two. to see the props and text motions. This was the end of part 3 of Go Animate Props and Text.